this is the test. I know. We're gonna find out if we're having uh, a boy or a girl. I know, it's so exciting. Baby, we're children of summer. We're meant to be free. Party, we're not like the other. No reason to be. What is this chicken doing? What in the world? I totally caught her. Um, hi. You're kind of out of the pen. You just found a nice little place to sit. So our chickens are getting way bigger, as you can tell. Um, this one, which we have named Evie, named after Mount Everest, because she likes to be taller than the rest of the flock. What are you doing? She's like, just hanging out. This is my spot. She sleeps up there now sometimes. I saw her this morning. Hey, girl. Just chilling. <laughs> She's like, I'm not moving. This is my spot. Um, so yeah, she climbs up there. I don't think she would ever, oh, maybe. I don't think she's gonna jump out. <laughs> she's really good at walking up there. But I don't know. It's good that she's in the laundry room because it's just a small room. And if she does jump out, it's really warm in there, so she's not gonna like die. We just keep an eye on her. And she's gotten huge. Do you guys remember when we got these? They're, we only got these a week ago and now they're massive. Look at those wings. Okay, see you later. Are you gonna jump out? Yeah, so we have named another chicken. We've actually named all of them. We'll have to tell you guys soon. But um, that one is Evie. She's so adventurous. And then we have Rutabaga, which is, who is doing great now. She was sick and now she's one of the biggest ones and doing amazing. So we'll have to go over all their names. Maybe Kels and I will tell you all the names. We came up with them today. Okay, you ready for this? I'm ready. I mean, they're basically just drawing my blood, <laughs> right? Yeah, but it's like, this is the test. I know. We're gonna find out if we're having uh, a boy or a girl. I know, it's so exciting. That is crazy. It's so crazy. It definitely, I'm like, not, I don't know, hasn't set in. It doesn't seem real. It seems way too early. <laughs> yeah, it seems way early. Way we too early. We waited till how, I think we waited till 20 weeks. Like 20 something weeks. 20 something <laughs> weeks That's with June. Camera. Yeah, Camera. we're gonna find out if you're gonna have a baby brother or a baby sister. This is the test, but in a, a week we'll get the results. Sister, Junie. Which one, brother or sister? <laughs> sister. Oh, okay. We'll find out, Junie. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. This is probably what, like my tenth time getting my blood drawn. <laughs> <laughs> you're a pro. <laughs> Go give blood. How was it? Fine. It actually hurt more than normal. Whatever. Because <laughs> they got your chromosomes. <laughs> okay, so we were realizing we... I would say the majority reason why we took this test was so we could find out the gender early. Is that why? Yeah, I mean... Because uh, we've never done any genetic screening before. Yeah, and just but I don't. It is nice it's just interesting to have, and like the information. Yeah, we didn't do it with June. Is it your chicken? But we also were on the road, so it's not like we had anyone right. who could like talk to us about these kinds of options. Because you had to do it at a certain time. Yeah. Chicken is chicken. So yeah, I think it's just so we could find out, and it's just like. Again, knowledge is power, so yeah. it's just nice to know if there are going to be any complications or any potential complications. It's like we can prepare for that. Right. So that's really nice. Um, it'll be, yeah. So basically, I was doing some research about what the test is detecting. Um, and basically, it's three main categories. One is trisomies. Which is, Which is like Down syndrome. And yeah, stuff. it's basically like Down syndrome. So it's like there's an extra chromosome. Yeah. So that's one of the things it tests. The other one is sex chromosomes. So yes, it'll determine if the baby is a girl or a boy. But it's also there can be too many or too few sex chromosomes resulting in potential health issues. So 
I don't really know what any of these are, but it's like <laughs> try Don't read X, them. <laughs> XYY syndrome, um, stuff like that. This and is like, some of this stuff is like the stuff that keeps expecting mothers awake at night. And it's like, I don't know. It's, it's like, it's going to be good to know this, but I just wouldn't read into like every single one. Cause then I feel like you're just going to be like, oh no, what if this happens? What if this happens? I just don't, the interesting thing, cause I was actually reading through some of them and a lot of them are, a lot of them say like the baby or not the baby, no, but like the individual it. appears healthy and normal and can live their whole life being undiagnosed. Yeah. So that's really interesting. No, do. Um, the other section is micro deletions. Which is like parts. That sounds super scary. Yeah, it's like parts of the chromosome are just okay. deleted. Like someone went through your source code and just deleted lines. So basically a deletion can result in birth defects or intellectual disability. So there's... Yeah bunch of different no, things that could happen. Oh, you're working? Oh, you're working? Okay, you're looking at it too. Yeah, so we're just, we just wanted to know if there's any potential, oh, and no, um, you. your midwife you so suggested it. Kelsey's midwife oh, suggested it, so that's part of the reason why we did it. And obviously, because we want to know if we're having a boy or a girl. And so. it's not invasive. Like, they literally drew my blood, which is yeah. super cool, so it's not invasive at all to the baby. And... I think it'll be good to know just in general because I think it's gonna come back for like my results too, not just the babies. Mm, I'm assuming maybe. since it's I my blood. I don't know. Um, and I then still if don't understand. I still don't understand how they get the baby's chromosomes from your blood. I don't either. <laughs> I don't but. either. But it is my blood going into the baby. But That's true. I don't know. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's your blood, but it's another human being. I don't know. It's it's really weird and trippy and we're like modern medicine is crazy. But Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm I don't know. But we find out everything in a week, so that'll be great. I talked to my midwife, she said, Okay, I'll call you in a week. Give you the test results. Yeah. We told her not to tell us if it's a boy or a girl though. Because we're going to do a gender reveal get together. So Yeah, so she is going to either put the results at the front desk for me or call someone to tell them. Ooh. Ooh, exciting. Moment of truth. Boy or a girl? Boy or a girl. Which one did Mama paint and which one did Junie paint? I can't even tell them apart. They look exactly the same. <laughs> You gonna clean? Clean up. Clean up your mess. Good job. That was a fun little idea. Yeah, I've been wanting to do some more like little craft activity things with her. Yeah. She didn't quite catch on, but. Yeah. So basically, that looks just cool. use like a plastic fork for the little tulip flowers. Oh, that is creative, and we used this washable paint because Junie gets a little messy. <laughs> even the paint on her mouth. Um, but I think that's gonna be it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We are so excited to find out if we're having a boy or a girl. Be sure you subscribe so that... Girl or boy? You said girl earlier. You don't know? It's a tie. Oh, okay. It's a tie? It's a tie. Um, so thumbs up if you liked today's video. And you guys, the only way we can tell if you guys like the video or not is with the thumbs ups. So be sure to hit that thumbs up because we don't have comments still. So we really like to look at those and see how many of you guys are enjoying the videos and um, what's going on because we don't, we can't so read the comments. It's like really no weird. Feedback. Yeah. Um, so hit that thumbs up button and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Be where your feet are.